Hey guys, these coasters were made with walnut and white oak. I designed them in Fusion 360 and cut them on my Shipoko Pro CNC. I used two setups to cut them on CNC, one setup to cut from the top side and the other setup to cut from the bottom side. I used the center hole as the reference to keep the origin position between the two setups. In this video, I will show you the two paths in Fusion 360 and the cutting procedure on CNC. Before cutting on CNC, I used my miter saw to cut the walnut and white oak to the rough width and the length, and then used my band saw to resaw the stock. Thus, a three-quarter inch stock can be used to make two coasters. This is the manufacturer interface in Fusion. Setup 1 includes all two paths cutting from the bottom side, and setup 2 includes two paths for the top side. The origins of the two setups are set to the same point. In setup 1, the first two paths is to bore the center hole. I chose a quarter inch down cut bit for this cut. The bottom height of these two paths is set to a negative value relative to the stock bottom, so the cutter will bore into the MDF wasteboard of the CNC machine. This shallow hole in the wasteboard will be used to position the stock for setup 2. Then I use the same cutter to contour the overall shape. The first contour is rough cut in multiple depths, and the second contour is final cut. Then I cut the stock to the designed height with a phase 2 pass. After that, I change the cutter to 90 degree V bit to engrave and to chamfer the edge of the center hole. The last two pass of setup 1 is to cut the big round over with a tapered 1 8 inch bore nose bit. Setup 2 is to cut the top side of the coaster. First two paths is uh, adaptive clearing with quarter inch down cut bit. This is to roughly remove the majority of the material. Then with the same cutter, I use the pocket cut to clear the flat part of the top face. Then change to a 1 16th inch down cut bit to cut the two circle pockets. For the flower shaped ring, I chose a 1 8 inch straight bore nose bit to do the scallop two pass. The last two pass is to chamfer the edges with 90 degree V bit. Okay, that's all the two pass settings. Then let's watch the actual CNC cutting process of setup one. This is the result of setup 1. The tool mark of the bow nose bit can be sanded down afterwards. For setup 2, I need to make sure the stock was positioned to the same origin, so I used a half inch dowel to match the shallow hole in the wasteboard. 
I already applied CA glue to the blue tape. After CA glue has dried, I can then gently pull out the half inch doll. Please forgive me for the poor camera position. Now let's watch the CNC cutting process of setup two. After some light sanding, I started to apply finishes. For walnut pieces, I used the Rubio Monocoat Pure. For white oak pieces, I used the Rubio Monocoat Super White. Rubio has a lot of different color choices. If you are interested in Rubio, please check out my other videos. Okay, that's how I made these coasters on CNC. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe. Mm -hmm.